Now let us take the second application. Second application regarding Michelson interferometer. The second application is to determine to determine the difference difference in wavelengths difference in wavelengths of two nearest neighboring nearest neighboring wavelengths wavelengths are nothing but spectral lines this also we can say resolution of resolution of spectral lines so we can say it in both ways one is to determine the difference in wavelengths of two nearest neighboring wavelengths or lines or resolution of spectral lines so how can we do this so uh, normally in a michelson interferometer from the previous cases also we have studied only on the basis of your uh, the michelson interferometer and its construction so in this case let us suppose that there are two certain uh, one particular source of light is possessed uh, such as your sodium light is possessing two wavelengths let those wavelengths be lambda 1 and lambda 2 respectively now if it is emitting two wavelengths which are very much close to each other what is the difference of both those two wavelengths so that is what we are going to find out now so in this case what we do here is in the first case let us suppose two certain wavelengths here so here we are representing for a source of light so that is monochromatic source of light when a source of light when a source of light light has two wavelengths such as lambda 1 and lambda 2 so there are two certain wavelengths what are they they are lambda 1 and lambda 2 respectively respectively which are which are almost close to each other close to each other just like our sodium d lines so they are situated very much close to each other then now to verify the conditions for uh, the refractive index uh, rather the wavelengths of those corresponding uh, so light sources emitting wavelengths lambda 1 and lambda 2 the difference of those are to be found out now so in the second case here so that we will take it into consideration now each system produces each system produces its own each system produces its own system of fringes or other you can refer it in terms of rings also okay now let, let us suppose that in the second case if say lambda 1 is supposed to be greater than lambda 2 that is the first condition if one of the wavelengths is supposed to be greater than the other now what we are doing in case of uh, this thing one of the mirrors is supposed to be stated and m is supposed to be the one which we are obviously moving so uh, if as we have stated the condition if m and n are both equidistant from the plate g we are going to have a visual we can see a dark a dark or, or otherwise we can say that uh, it is not the completely a closure kind of thing closure means what it is completely dark and it is not perfectly visible so a black kind of a thing is visible from the field of view so let us suppose that respective condition now so if lambda 1 and lambda 2 is uh, they are uh, if one of the wavelengths is greater than the other here what we say 
and the distance is supposed to be very much small. Distance of what? The distance of separation between the two sodium lights is what we are saying. So if a distance is supposed to be small, what will happen? If they are very much, if the distance is supposed to be very much small, we say that there are two rings that have been formed over here. So the ring 1 that is with respect to the mirror M will uh, coincide with the other ring. Means the one with respect to M and the other with respect to N. So if they are situated very much close to each other, the brighter one or the first we can say from M we are going to see a darker one. That is a darker kind of a ring or a fringe you can call it either way. One of the darker ring will coincide with respect to the brighter one. So because of that one what will happen? The contrast is completely changed. Completely changed means it is on the lower side. For example, if you consider uh, we have two certain rings over here. This is the brighter one. Okay. And this is the darker one. So let me draw this darker one with the red sketch here. Okay. Now you have two certain things. Now if they are coinciding with respect to each other. Coinciding means what? If they are uh, say framed over each other like this. Okay. Now what will happen to this? Both of them are supposed to be so undergone there. So because if uh, we completely say this is brighter one and this is the um, uh, what you call the red one. So they are completely closure with respect to each other. So here this is not as much bright as what we are seeing here. So the contrast is low. It is completely low. So this we can show it as an example. But uh, obviously uh, from the micrometer screw and the field of view direction if you mount it properly then we are going to see there is a visibility which is on the darker side. So that will happen when the distance between the two sodium lines is supposed to be very much smaller. So we write, we can write that one as if lambda 1 is greater than lambda 2 and when the distance between the two light sources is very much small that is now we say that the two ring systems the two fringes fringe systems what they do they coincide with the two fringe systems coincide with each other they coincide with each other so in this way we say that the darker ring the darker fringe with respect to mirror M coincides with coincides with brighter fringe with respect to mirror N. Okay, so such is the situation. Now what we are doing here if they are very much close to each other this is the criteria. Now keep n as a constant and m is to be moved. When m is supposed to be moved through a particular distance, then what will happen? The distance of separation between them keeps on increasing. If the distance keeps on increasing, so what will happen? So there is uh, there is certain brighter aspect that is the contrast completely changes because the contrast was on the lower side there. But if we completely move those mirror M through a distance say X, then what will happen? It has to move such that because of the system of, system of separation between the two things, the darker fringe with respect to M and the brighter one with respect to M are completely separated. So separated till what will happen? They are in a distinct position. That is no darker kind of an image is seen there. And again a brighter one comes in its place. Now that is distinct and indistinct. And uh, the mirror is to be moved through a distance x so that the distinct one will become an indistinct one again. Then what will happen? The darker that is the brighter fringe with respect to m coincides with the darker fringe with respect to n. Then we call it as an indistinct nature of that particular, particular mirror. So if this is the shift that we see, then we can refer the distances with respect to the wavelengths concept. Now, 
in case of this we write it in terms of our explanation as when the mirror when the mirror m is moved is moved away is moved away the two fringe fringes rather or we can call it as the two fringe systems what will happen get the gradually stop okay so they are getting gradually stop and then what is happen when the distance d is such that when the distance d is such that such that lambda 1 coincides such that what we say the darker fringe we say lambda such that lambda 1 it is coinciding with the brighter ring brighter ring means what fringe in the sense this possesses lambda 2 and the darker ring possesses lambda 1 as its wavelength so this is what we confirm here so the distance d is such that lambda 1 of uh, uh, what is that it is a uh, um, uh, the darker fringe darker fringe coincides with the lambda 2 that is the brighter fringe okay so this is what the situation is with respect to the condition when the distance is up when the mirror m is supposed to be moved further at a far at a certain distance then gradually this is the case of situation with respect to the darker and the brighter fringes next so what we have seen here so the distance d is such that lambda 1 coincides with lambda 2 that is the brighter fringe then what will happen the contrast is low okay the contrast is low now at this position at this position the mirror's movement the mirror m's movement movement or otherwise the reading is noted as m1 okay so we had noted down the movement of the mirror as m1 then next what we had to do now we had to further move the mirror now the mirror now the mirror m is further move further move so through a distance say x through a distance x so what is this x distance until what distance we have to move this one this distance had to be moved through a say a distance x at this particular amount of distance x the one that is the fringes or the fringe systems if further moved through a distance x until the fringe system which was distinct which was distinct should should become indistinct indistinct means what again the lambda ones whose dark dark fringe is supposed to be again coinciding with the brighter one now when this particular indistinction happens at this particular moment at this moment at this moment what will happen all the fringe systems which are been moved simultaneously and are in an indistinct when indistinct moment or position they all come to the center they are available there at the center of the fringes that is again we can see certain amount of uh, darker fringe coinciding with the brighter one that is lambda 1 coinciding with lambda 2 will happen at this particular moment so we can say that Uh, during this particular moment, uh, so we can have at this moment we can say that n if there are n number of shifts, there are n shifts that are possible at this moment with at this moment n shifts with the wavelength lambda one and n plus one shifts with wavelength. 
wavelength lambda to meet at the center meet at the center therefore we can say that the distance x is equal to the distance x is equal to n with respect to what lambda 1 is equal to what we say x is equal to n into it because it is becoming half the wave that we have previously solved in case of the determining the wavelength of the monochromatic source of light that source of light should be half the wavelength the distance is supposed to be equal to half the wavelength of the given source of light so applying that condition we have n lambda 1 by 2 is equal to n plus 1 into lambda 2 by 2 so this is obviously the condition when they are meeting at the center when the fringe ships are supposed to be at the center of the image that has been transformed we can alter those equations as such okay now taking these respective conditions now so what is that n lambda 1 by 2 is equal to n plus 1 into lambda by lambda 2 by 2 so that we can write it as here 2x in terms of this multiplying we have 2x is equal to n lambda 1 n lambda 1 which is equal to n plus 1 into lambda 2 or we can say n1 lambda 1 is equal to n2 lambda 2 by leaving, taking this as, as a smaller cases we can even do that in case of uh, even that one as well okay so taking these uh, things uh, and individually performing the calculations based on these respective values we can determine the difference in the wavelengths now let us uh, do that particular equation taking the values with respect to lambda 1 on either side right now in case of the first one let us take the first case is n lambda 1 is equal to what 2x this is for the first case then i want to find out what now n n is what 2x by lambda 1 similarly i'll do it for the second case which is n plus 1 into lambda 2 is again equal to 2x now I want it for n plus 1. n plus 1 is what? 2x by lambda 2. Okay. Now the difference of these wavelengths is what we want. So we can write it as 2x by lambda 2. That is the difference in wavelengths. Wavelengths. It implies 2x by lambda 2 minus 2x by lambda 1 is equal to n plus 1 minus n so it is equal to 1 so 2x by lambda 2 minus 2x by lambda 1 is equal to 1 so this is how we take up the equations as such now taking a part of this which is 1 by lambda 2 minus 1 by lambda 1 is equal to 1 now if you work out the equations accordingly we have it implies 2x into which is lambda the LCM is lambda 1 this will be as lambda 1 minus lambda 2 by lambda 1 lambda 2 is equal to 1 so this will further imply 2x is equal to 2x into lambda 1 minus lambda 2 is equal to lambda 1 lambda 2 here so we have 2x is equal to lambda 1 lambda 2 by lambda 1 minus lambda 2 so this is for what for 2x 2x is this similarly the situation is uh, clear over here even we can uh, transform these equations as if uh, the distance between these two wavelengths is as the distance between the two wavelengths is small therefore we have 2x is equal to we can we have we can replace this lambda 1 lambda 2 with lambda square because they are almost equal lambda 1 is equal to lambda and lambda 2 is equal to lambda almost the same so replacing that we have lambda square by lambda 1 minus lambda 2 so this is obviously the relation where we can find out the difference between those two as 
2x is equal to lambda square by lambda 1 minus lambda 2 or otherwise lambda 1 minus lambda 2 is equal to lambda square by 2x. So this is the alternate equation what we can put here in terms of this as you can write this one and write it over here lambda 1 minus lambda 2 is equal to lambda square by 2x. So here what is that we have? As far as the uh, table is concerned, we have written it as lambda 1 minus lambda 2 is equal to lambda square by 2x. That in a word we can represent it as the difference of wavelengths, the difference of wavelengths, wavelengths of, of uh, say spectral lines rather, lambda 1 minus lambda 2 is equal to lambda square by 2x. So this is how we can determine the difference of wavelengths with respect to our Michelson's interferometer.